In this video, I am going to be showing you how I have organized my Zoom meetings for this year. So when my students go into my Canvas course, they are able to go and hit Zoom at their scheduled therapy time. Now, they will use this link all year. Well, as long as we're remote. So this is the one link that all of my students will use. And this is the same meeting ID and passcode. So I chose to do it this way because I think it's much more user friendly. It's much easier for me because I don't have to keep track of a bunch of Zoom links and the parents and students will know where to go. So to do that, I went to Zoom. I hit schedule meeting. And since I'm using the same link, I hit recurring meeting and this will um, pretty much just take away the option for the dates since we don't need them. Now something that's important is since it's a recurring meeting and all the students have the same link, I don't want them accidentally coming into another student's therapy time. So I'm going to go to advanced options and I'm going to hit enable waiting room. So this is going to generate a waiting room. So as soon as my students hit that Zoom link, they are going to be put into a waiting room. And then if I'm in a meeting, I will get a pop-up notification that says so-and-so is waiting. Now, if I have a student in therapy and my other student in the waiting room is early, I'll simply finish my session, tell my current student to um, exit out of the meeting, and then I will allow my other student who's in the waiting room to come in. Kind of just like a doctor's appointment. So then I would hit schedule. And now I have, oh my goodness. Now I have, oh my goodness, <laughs> my reoccurring Zoom meeting. And I can copy that invitation and it's copied to my clipboard. And I simply just pasted the invitation into my Canvas page. And that's all you have to do. And then you have your reoccurring meeting that all your students can um, come to at their scheduled time. Bye.